Hey everyone, so I have another Doctor Who episode review. This is episode 7 of the 5th series, Amy's Choice. This is the one I've been rating to do for such a long time. I love this, love this, love this one. First of all, when I found out that the new Doctor Who companion was going to be called Amy, I died. I was so ecstatic. I was like, oh, my world is perfect. Obviously, the two series passed now. I'm kind of used to having an Amy in the TARDIS. But at the time, this was obviously only the seventh episode with Amy, it was lovely to have an episode where my name was in the title. I was just, ah, oh, really, really gave me a good positive start to the episode by giving me that re of that pr presumption that it was going to be perfect because it was all about Amy. And I was very happy. And um, the plot of this is brilliant. The fact that it's five years later and Amy and Rory are married in a cosy little cottage and Amy is heavily pregnant amused me greatly. So, so much. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. Karen Gillan looked really weird in this, um, and it was just—it was just a fantastic idea to sort of go into the future, but taking the characters' futures as well, not just taking the TARDIS into the future because the Doctor went alone, of course. Um, and that's fine; the Doctor's there, and something's not going quite right though. And there's that really creepy woman who keeps walking around, and people keep going missing, and it's a bit peculiar. That in itself would be enough of a story, but then we have the whole flash to the TARDIS. The Dream Lord is there and he's like, which one of these is real and which one is not? Are you in the TARDIS? Is that real? Or when you're in the village, is that real? I... Okay, I'm going to give away the ending of the episode here. So if you haven't seen it, stop watching this video now. Go watch it right now because it's brilliant and come back. Um, the Dream Lord is like, is, is the TARDIS scene real? Because we get the normal Amy and Rory and Doctor in present day TARDIS. Or are you heavily pregnant and married and away from the Doctor? Is that real? And I knew straight away that the TARDIS was real. Um, I don't know why, I can't tell you why I knew that. I just, I knew that the TARDIS scenes were the real scenes. Call it instinct. And of course they turned out to be the case. I'm sure there was a particular reason why I knew that, but I can't remember. But just the TARDIS scenes were real and I knew that from the off. So it really frustrated me when pregnant Amy and Rory were like, but we feel real right now, so how can we not be real? And I'm like, it's just the TARDIS messing with your mind. So I was really annoyed at that, that they couldn't understand that the dream one was the that the dream was the um, the pregnant one, and I'm like, why can't you understand it? The TARDIS is real. So I got kind of annoyed at that, but it's absolutely brilliant. I love the way this unfolds. I just love. Normally I don't like it when you have an episode that flashes between two different realms. I like it when they're in one. But this one I felt really worked. I loved it. I found the Dream Lord to be quite a creepy character, creepy in a not scared of but want to know more about kind of way. I just love this it is fantastic it also plays on the whole fact that when you just wake up from a dream you do get confused and kind of which which is real me lying in bed or the realm i was just in my dream because when you're in your dream it feels as real as real can be so it plays on a lot of things that we do worry about anyway so i love that a lot this is just a perfect episode there's nothing wrong with it in the slightest please do leave comments on this episode and tell me that you love it Obviously, just tell me your honest opinion. Don't lie to me if you don't like it. But, you know, I'd like you to say that you love it. Um, yeah, please feel free to leave comments. Any deeper thoughts you have on this, let me know. And, yeah, we only have, like, another probably three, four Doctor Who episode reviews. And then I'm onto the classics, which is very exciting. A lot of you have been like, how are you doing it? One episode per Doctor? No, I am watching every single Doctor Who classic episode and reviewing them. Yes, it will take me about 10 years if I do one a week. Yes, I probably will never get them finished. But, well, I plan on doing YouTube for the rest of my life because I like watching the journey. Um, so YouTube, please don't stop working until I at least finish the classic series. <coughs> but I can't wait to do that. Very looking forward to... What's the first episode called? The... St 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 no, not Stolen Earth. Um, the... Um, oh, never mind. We'll find out when I do it. Yeah. Please feel free to leave comments, let me know your thoughts, etc. And I'll see you all next time. Oh, and any Doctor Who tags, please do let me know them as well. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.